Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Mr. Crazy Game 13 video. Now, um, first of all, I just want to say yes, Doctor Who The Eternity Clock has started. Episode 2 will be up tomorrow. But, uh, until then... <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, diving right into this. Um, I know it's been a while since I uh, did my episode 2 of my video game collection, which was GameCube. Uh, now, today I'm doing uh, episode 3, which will be PSP and PS Vita. Now, the reason why I'm putting my PSP and PS Vita um, into one video, collection into one video is because so far I only have a near two PS Vita games. Um, but I'll be getting more, don't worry. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you, you know, I just thought, mm, might as well do those with my PSP collection. Now, uh, I don't really think there's much point showing you my PSP collection because my PSP is dead. So, um, I won't be able to play these games anymore, but, uh, hey, these are the ones that I do have. So, uh, once again in alphabet collab, we're going to start out with Ben 10 Protector of Earth. No, sorry, that's the next game. <laughs> ben 10 Alien Force. Now, the reason why I got this is because, like, when I was, like, I don't know why, but when I was 13 and 14, I was really interested in, in Ben 10. Um... Yeah, I sort of got obsessed with it. I watched a lot of the TV show and I thought, hey, why not buy this game? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Ben 10 Alien Force. This is a pretty good game, you know, if you're into the TV series. It's a good beat em up. Although I never beat it because the game kept crashing whenever I got uh, onto one specific part with Big Chill. So, uh, yeah, uh, I could never get very far in this game. Darn it. Uh, but yeah, uh, Ben 10 Alien Force, um, pretty good game, pretty good game. Then we have Ben 10 Protector of Earth, this is the game that I was talking about earlier. Um, I believe this was the first Ben 10 game ever made, and no, I think this is, this is pretty good actually, yeah, this is a pretty good one. Um, although it's, I think it's kind of the same as a uh, Alien Force, only this one you, you know, you get, you have the standard, like, armor tricks. Aliens is uh, the Alien Force one, so, uh, yeah, not much to say about it, really. But, yeah, I, I do like those games, no, honestly, I do, I do like those games. Right, next up, uh, Lego Batman, the video game. Uh, this game, eh, it's pretty good. Uh, don't have much to say about it, really, because, um, yeah, oh, okay, right. This is a pretty good game, uh, not my favourite Lego game, it actually it is one of my favourites, but it's not, I, I'm not sure, um, it is good, I'll give it that. I actually like how, the, you know, they have hair on the other stories as well, and uh, I believe this was also the first Lego game not to, you know, sort of drive off a movie, so, movie storyline, so, uh, yeah, there's uh, three episodes, three original episodes, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, overall, it's actually, it's actually a pretty good game, I'd... This is, what I, this is one Lego game I'd recommend. Next up, Lego Indiana Jones The Original Adventures. Uh, now this one, this one's, this one is like one of my favourite Lego games I've made. It was my first PSP game and uh, overall it's very, very good. It is a very good game. I, I, I love this one. I love it. Love it. Yeah, I'm not really saying much about um, it because uh, well, all Lego games are practically the same out there, but hey, they're all good, and this is one of the best, I think. Uh, also, I think um, Indiana Jones in this game actually controls a heck of a lot better than he does in the sequel, because, I don't know, it's just, um, and it, the whip, it was so much easier when it was mapped to just one face button, but yeah, in the Lego like Indiana Jones 2, you have to, what, sort of, press the circle button to get out, and then you square scroll around, it, it's... I don't, I don't like it all that much. Ah, uh, next up, The Simpsons game. Uh, yeah, The Simpsons game. This is one that I really enjoy. Uh, although this is the inferior version of the game, the, which is the SD version. Uh, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, there are actually, you know, um. Differences between this, the SD version of the Simpsons game and the HD version. So, yeah, uh, like I think 
in this game you have to use certain characters to get certain collectibles, like in certain powers. But in the HD version, like they're all available from the Kepka, so yes. Also, hmm. Yeah, I think just it's, it's basically the same as the HD version, only things are structured differently and switched around. Because um you know, there are some things that were in the HD version that were left out of this version, like, you know, the power-ups like Robobart, uh, Clobber Girl for Lisa, Police Marge, um, don't think there's any for Homer, so... Yeah. Now we have The Sims 2. This was, uh, actually one PSP game that I really enjoyed. Uh, I start getting into it, PSP died. Boom. So, yeah. This is one I'd recommend. This is a really, really great PSP game. It has a storyline, which I don't know why, but like all portable versions of The Sims 2, because I, I, I had the DS version as well. The portable versions of this game have stories, but like the console versions don't. I, I don't know why. So, yeah, Sims 2, really, really good game, but it can get glitchy at points. So, yeah. Next up, Sonic Rivals. This is a uh, Sonic racing game, uh, but, you know, it's on foot, and, uh, basically, um, yeah, it, it's a Sonic racing game, but it's on foot like Sonic R, and also, yeah, you can, you can, you basically race different rivals, there's, a. Uh, Four different storylines, there's Sonic, Shadow, Knuckles, and Silver, so, yeah. Also, there it says Silver's new, but... I, I, I knew, I know this game came out in the same year as Sonic 06 did, which is 2006, so S Silver was still somewhat a new character, but still, he wasn't, like, introducing this game. That was Sonic 06. Although, technically, Sonic 06 never happened, so... Yeah, I suppose this is Silver's debut game. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So, it's sequel, Sonic Rivals 2. Much better than the original, I think, because this one, uh, not only did it have, you know, uh, different, uh, you know, race, it, it wasn't just racing games, but, like, you could do different mini games as well, like King of the Hill. You could also fight, like, in Act 2 of each zone, you'd fight your opponent, and I think that's really cool. This is a... Really, really good game. And also, like, you have different teams, like, duo teams in this game for one storyline. We have Sonic and Tails, Knuckles and Rouge, uh, Shadow and Metal Sonic, and Silver and Espio. So, yeah. Also, this was actually the first Sonic game I ever owned, so... That's pretty awesome. Well, it's the first part. Well, yeah, um... Yeah, it's the first Sonic game I ever owned, because I got that before I got Unleashed, so... Yeah. And now we are on to my last PSP game, which is Spider-Man 3. Now, the reason I got this game is because I had the PS2 version, but my PlayStation 2 died, of course. So I got this version to replace it. And, uh... Yeah, it's okay. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good game. But, in all honesty, it's nowhere near as good as the, um as the HD versions, like PS3 and 360, those versions are brilliant. Although this one is much easier, because the HD versions sometimes can be hard as shit. But uh, this one, this one is, it's pretty good, although the graphics could be a lot better. Um, it's not as good as Spider-Man 2, definitely not. I'd probably say this is the worst of the movie licensed games for the Spider-Man franchise. Only the SD versions, though, only the SD versions. Still not too bad though, I'd recommend trying it out if you're a Spider-Man fan. Right, so uh, that's all eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, sorry. <laughs> that's all nine of my PSP games. Yeah, I know. But now we are moving on to the two PSP games I own, starting with Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Uh, now this one actually um, was my is my first. It's the only Assassin's Creed game I've ever played, and it's the only one I own. And uh, it's pretty good actually. I really enjoy this game. 
Although, you know, at times it can be a pain. I, I mean, maybe it's because I'm new to Assassin's Creed. I, I enjoy it anyway. Um, I believe now this is available on the console versions as DLC, like its own game, Assassin's Creed Liberation. And apparently it goes off the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag engine, so... Yeah. Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, this is, a, this is a good game, I like this one. Although since I have it on the PS Vita, I have the so-called inferior engine of Assassin's Creed 3, so, yeah. Right then, so, last but not least, we have Uncharted Golden Abyss. Now, the reason, now, this was the game that actually made me want to get a PS Vita, because I really love Uncharted. Although, I only have the first game, I really like that one. But, uh, yeah, Uncharted, um... Golden Abyss, which I believe is a prequel to the first Uncharted game, you know, it's set before 1, 2, and 3, the main series. Uh, but this one I think is pretty good. I haven't really gotten very far in it. I mean, I'm further in it than I am Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. But still, you know, um, I, I'm not exactly far in this one. It's, it's pretty good, though. I, 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 I think it's pretty good. Um, it was the first game I played on the Vita and overall, I like it. I like it a lot. So that's my PSP slash PS Vita collection. I promise I'm going to get more PS Vita games in the future. But for now, this is Mr. Crazy Game 13 saying word out. Uh, I'll see you in episode 4 for my Nintendo Wii collection. So, yeah. See you then.